Bird is five on his winning streak of coming. Like this, make it five of six. Brendan Allen, a rear naked choke specialist, earns himself another tap out victory. All right, you boys, this is going to be the second fighter that uh, is going to be added to EA Sports UFC 5 with the patch. Like I said, man, there's going to be a lot of fighters being added to the game. And for this one, we are using Brandon Allen. Brandon Allen is in the middleweight division. He is listed as a jiu-jitsu fighter. Um, again, this is a match that I recorded against a fellow game changer, Balian. I enjoy ha fighting this man. And... To address something that I was, uh, a comment that I was seeing in the video that I uploaded yesterday, you guys were talking about the graphics. Yeah, man, this is one thing that I definitely noticed while playing on those EA freaking computers, EA system. The graphics for UFC 5, definitely, uh, I mean, you can literally see it right here. This looks a lot better than, than, than what we have access to. I mean... I can kind of get my graphics to look like this if I am recording with like a 4K capture card, which I really don't record with a 4K capture card every single time. But if I record with a 4K capture card and max everything out, I can kind of get it to look like this. But even then, the game just looks so much better when you're in person playing it, it's, which is kind of wild. You know what I mean? Um, I don't know what they'll, what they'll have to do to actually get the game to look as good as it does on their computers, on our consoles. I don't know what they'll have to do, but I think a lot of people, I mean, a lot of players are definitely not enjoying this game. At least seeing the game in all its beauty, whatever the hell they're doing over there. Um, which is, you know, a big reason why I'm pretty sure a lot of people would love to have this game on PC. I, I know. Um, it's, some, it's, it's something that we've been talking to them about as well. Have this game on PC. Of course, there's got to be a way to separate. As I pull guard on him right there. Did I get this right here? I don't remember. Aha! There we go. I go to roll him into mount. To sweep him directly into mount. But he counters that. And makes his way to side control. Which is pretty good. I was very surprised when Bailey hit me with that. I was not expecting it. But uh, definitely made me wary. And you guys are going to see... The amount of time was spent in, in half guard right here. His grappling is pretty good. It really is. So, I was saying, it'll be nice to have this game on PC. Of course, have a way to separate PC players from the players that are playing on console. Just because PC players, you know, I mean, they, they have a lot of ways they can cheat. Did I get this right here? No. Yeah, PC players have a lot of ways they can cheat. And to have PC players be able to compete against console players online I don't think that would be a good thing I really don't think so I think that would be a recipe for disaster now I don't imagine he got out of my heel hook right here there we go locked in this first one yeah a lot of times when I'm having trouble submitting people uh, the heel hook is usually like where I go to when I'm like okay I can't I can't get this guy let's try to roll into a leg lock and see if we can get him so uh, let's talk about Brandon Allen, though. In regards to his perks, you're looking at Crafty, which improves his submission defense in bottom positions. You're looking at the Nightmare perk, which boosts a fighter's grapple defense whenever they are in a bottom ground position. Uh, he's got fast hands, which uh, makes his hooks, uppercuts, and overhands faster and also more accurate. And he also has Wake Up Call. Wake Up Call recovers allows him to recover from stuns and knockdowns more quickly. So, really good perks. In terms of his uh, his attributes, you're looking at punch speed of 93, punch power of 94, accuracy of 90, blocking of 89, head movement 91, footwork of 91. As I get him in his guillotine again. Now this time, I think I just went for it. He's faking it. I go for it. He denies it. Nice. He got. He gets out right there. Good work, man. Good work. Uh, footwork of 91. His switch stance is an 80. He's not really the type to switch stances. His takedown defense is an 89. His kick power is a 90. And kick speed of 91. Um, for his grappling, which is really where he shines, you're looking at a takedown of 92. Top control of 95. You definitely want to be on top when you're using Brandon Allen. His bottom control of 90. Um, 
So it's not, you know, he clearly wants to be on top. His submission offense of 97, which is quite significant. This is a good guy to try to use in this weight class if your game is submissions. I get mounted right there. <laughs> mounted by Michael Bisbang. Um, his submission defense of 96. He's got a ground striking of 93. Clinch striking of 91 and clinch control of 89. So definitely grappling is where Brandon Allen is going to shine. And as you guys can see, look at the stamina right there. This is the patch you guys are going to be playing with today once the patch drops. So what I'll say is, man, watch your stamina. Watch your stamina. Your stamina, is it's not going to be like the last time you guys played. It's not, especially in between rounds. If you blow your load in the first round, you're not going to recover a lot of stamina in the in between rounds. And you're going to enter the second round lower on stamina than, than you're used to. So a lot of players are really going to have to start managing their stamina. And I think what's going to happen with this as well is it's going to make attacking the body a lot more attractive. So, you know, you, you got to try to improve your ability to counter body shots because body shots will become very attractive right now. I try to go for this on bar. He counters as, as, as well. Yeah, look, man, Bay, Bay does a very good job with this. A lot of respect to him for that. Really good, really good ground game. And my stamina is going down way more than him. He's proven through a lot of these matches that he actually does a better job of managing his stamina than I do, which is, oh my God, it's gonna be interesting taking this patch online and uh really seeing how a lot of players how they manage it'll be interesting so continuing with brandon allen's stats for his health his cardio is a 90 so uh that is definitely something to <laughs> it's not the best especially compared to someone like michael bisbang so as you can see the stamina right now bro it's not looking too good for me his chin, 94. His body health, 90. Leg, 89. Recovery, 93. And his cut resistance is a 92. In regards to his top moves, you're looking at a rear naked choke, level 5 rear naked choke. His cross is a level 4. His uppercut is a level 4. And he's got level 4 BJJ sweeps. And level four BJJ reversals. So, and of course, Brandon Allen is six foot two, which is I think six two is like the regular height in the middleweight division. You know what I mean? So, he's a he's a good addition to the weight class. He really is. If you're especially if you're a grappler and you need more grapplers in this weight class, he's a very good addition. I mean. In terms of grapplers with good submissions in this weight class, you're looking at someone like Marvin Vittori, right? You're looking at Luke Rockhold. You're looking at uh, Jack Hermanson. Um, also in this weight class, I don't remember if they removed Damian Maya from this weight class, but in this weight class, right, you've got you've got Royce Gracie in this weight class, which is pretty good. You've got um, you've got Bo Nickel. Bo Nickel is a very good grappler in this weight class. You've got Jacare Souza in this weight class as well. Um, you have a lot of options, man. Like if what you're really trying to do is is to try to grapple, you really do have a lot of options. Um, not just that, you also have Paul Craig. Paul Craig in the middleweight division. Paul Craig has very good jujitsu. So this is a this is a jujitsu's paradise, honestly speaking. Um, yeah, you also have really fucking good strikers in the weight class, you know, guys like Israel, guys like Alex Pereira. But again, if you want Jiu-Jitsu, middleweight division is a good place to go, right? You got Paulo Costa in there. You can just grapple the fuck out of him. So. Um, I don't know if I need to break down the patch for you guys. I mean, maybe what I'll just do is leave a link to the patch notes in the description below so you guys can go check it out. There is a lot of content that I am going to have to put out in the next next few days. The uh, Some of the videos that I... Re some of the footage I recorded in, in Vancouver. Um, we gotta try to get those out to you guys. 
Mine's not going to be released as quickly as the rest of the other guys, but I definitely am going to show, because I'd like, I'd like to go a little bit more in depth with, with what we did. There, we, we, we did a lot. We really did. So. Headed to the championship rounds. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think about Brandon Allen's character model. I thought they did a very good job with him, if I'm being honest. When they were showing us some close-up images of, of this character, man, I was... Let me tell you, dude, like... While I was in Vancouver and I was and we were getting some behind the scenes, I was just wishing and praying that we had we had like photo mode. You know, like when I when I was playing The Last of Us, I was using their photo mode so much, like I would just pause the game at random times, get the perfect camera angle and just take a photo. And I love that with a burning passion, bro. Like no matter what action you're performing, you can pause it, get into photo mode. And get a picture and you know that is what happens when the developers definitely want you to take a look at when they're i guess when they're super proud of what they've done they're proud of the artistic value of the game and they want you to look at the game from every single possible angle um i don't think ea is there just yet i think ufc 5 is a beautiful game don't get me wrong it is a beautiful game but i don't think they've gotten to a point where they really want us to like you know fly into the crowds and fly all around and like see everything not yet i don't think even though that would be dope man i think that would be just amazing like it would be nice to pause the game at any point rotate the camera get to whatever angle that i want and just take a picture if not for anything for thumbnails like that would be so dope you know it's part of what we were asking them for on the trip not just photo mode but free free cam right to be able to play a match replay the match with free roam camera and just roam around move the camera wherever you want while you're watching the match i think that would make for so much better content so much more unique content like every single one of my fighter showcases will be cinematic 100 percent. i would I, I would record these matches from different angles and I would replay it for you guys from multiple different angles. It would be so cinematic and beautiful. But there's the only way we can do that is if we had that free cam. Right now we just don't. You know, but if, <laughs> if we had free cam right now, you would you would like pause the game or something, or if we had like photo mode, you would pause the game. Rotate the camera all over the place and you would realize that Herb Dean is literally gone like he's not only is he not in frame He is not in the octagon at all <laughs> um, You know because they do this little trick right when you start around Herb Dean is right there But then the moment Herb Dean disappears from out of frame they remove him from the cage completely I don't remember why they're doing it. I believe it's to save resources or something along those lines. But you'll see. If you haven't noticed that before, I've probably just ruined this whole entire game for you. Which is my apologies. <laughs> but in round number five, pay attention. Like Herb is going to appear right now. Somewhere. Somewhere. There we go. There's Herb Dean. He appears right there. And you're going to notice Herb Dean at the beginning of round number five. But then you're going to watch. As soon as the camera pans and Herb disappears out of frame, he never comes back into frame. It's their little trick to kind of get him out of the octagon. Which, you know. So yeah, watch this right here. There's Herb Dean. You can see Herb. Uh, keep, keep, your, keep your eye on Herb Dean. The moment the camera pans and he gets out of frame he won't come back just keep 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 a close eye on her right now he's doing a good job we're just following watching what we're doing yeah he's in frame now let's see there it is he will not return <laughs> that's it he's gone so it's it's stuff like that that I'm pretty sure they don't really want us to see. You know, there's probably a bunch of other tricks they do with the camera. Um, if we were to be able to pause the game, we'll be able to see all that. And they probably don't want that at the moment. Woo! Catch him with that left hook. 
set him down with the uppercut. Get him with that guillotine again. That was really trying to submit this man. Deny that one. He denies. Very good job. Nice. I was really trying to get that guillotine on him, but what I should have probably done was go for like a rear naked choke. Because he does have a level five rear naked choke, you know? Let me know if you guys prefer this type of commentary that I'm doing right now. It's just, it's easier to do commentary this way. Just record the matches and then do commentary after the fact. I can, you know, focus on some other shit. Um, and I can talk more. But you guys let me know if you prefer this or if you prefer live commentary. My guess is, oh, camera all over the place. My guess is a lot of you guys will prefer live commentary. But let me know which one you like better. But yes, as I'm watching this back, man, this game looks beautiful. Definitely looks more beautiful than when I record content. So, I actually have a 4K capture card. I just got to plug it into my new PC. So maybe I'll just do that. Enough of you commented on how this looks that it might be worth me just doing it. Now the files are, are ridiculously long, They're like big, big, gigantic files, and they take longer to render. But the beauty of it, I think, might be worth it. As I gas myself out, well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Yeah, man, this is round number five. Round number five, and I'll be honest, man, we were really not throwing a ridiculous amount of shots. Like for the most part, looking back at our strike counts they were more on the realistic side and look at our look at our stamina so very i'm looking forward to seeing what you guys report after you guys play around with the patch today I, I'm, I, i'd like to see if you guys think the stamina is in a good place now because i really think it's in a good place now or do you guys think that it needs to be reduced some more or actually do you think that it's been overdone i'm very curious to see what you guys say about that so there you have it Brandon Allen gets the win. Thank you to Balian for helping me record these matches. This this was fun. Definitely fun. If you guys enjoyed the video, you know exactly what to do as well. Leave a like on it. Uh, later today, I'm going to upload another fighter showcase that I recorded in Vancouver. I'm not sure which fighter it's going to be. But you guys uh, stay tuned for that. So. Thanks again for watching. You guys are amazing. Thanks for the patience on my voice and all this crazy COVID shit. I am working very hard to recover. So I'll see you guys very shortly. Peace out, boys. Have a good one.